Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to calculate LVO, that is left ventricle output. As you can see, the formula is pi r square, that is r, the radius of aorta, into the basal heart rate into aortic BTI. We can divide this LVO by the weight of the baby in kgs. That becomes left ventricle index or cardiac index. The normal value is 130 to 310 ml per kg per minute. And as you can see in this, to calculate the aortic VTI, we keep the probe in the apical window, pointer pointing at 3 o'clock and sweep upwards. The fifth chamber that is aorta or left ventricle outflow tract comes up. And to calculate the aortic VTI, we need to keep the pulse wave Doppler gate in the aorta just above the aortic valve as you can see in this picture. So it calculates the aortic VTI by tracing the Doppler, pulse wave Doppler in aorta. So you trace the outline of the Doppler outflow and you calculate the VTI that is the velocity time integral that is to be used to calculate the LVO. Next you will see the actually there is a demonstration how to uh, get the apical 5 chamber view and do the aortic VTI. As you can see in this video, on the baby the probe is kept at the apex at the apical window. Pointer is pointing at 3 o'clock and is means the foot of the probe is being swept upwards that is anteriorly. And you will screen on, uh, see on the echo screen, you are seeing the apical four chamber uh, view and as the probe is being swept upwards anteriorly, the fifth chamber that is aorta is being opened up. Then we can keep the pulse wave Doppler in the aorta just above the aortic valve. And this is the view that is the parastern long axis view that is to calculate the diameter and hence the radius of the aorta. The probe is being kept at the nipple line that is one of the low parasternal uh, views and the pointer is pointing towards the right shoulder at 11 o'clock and the probe orientation marker is upwards and you will see the aorta in between in the middle of your screen it should be perpendicular to the uh, direction of the ultrasonic waves and you need to calculate the diameter of aorta at the level of the aortic valve cusp where they are hinged joined in the inner surface of the aorta. So from inner wall to inner wall we take the distance by the calipers that is the aortic diameter we half it to get the aortic radius. As you can see in this demonstration that from which point to which point the aortic diameter is being taken. And similarly you can see how to do the parastern long axis view on the baby. At the nipple line, just on the left side of the sternum, pointer pointing at, pro pointer pointing at right shoulder or at the 11 o'clock position, you will see a parasternal long axis view on your echo screen. In that, we can calculate the aortic diameter. The various structures that you would see in this parasternal long axis view, they are Now we have to uh, take the, as it was down, the probe orientation marker was down for opical views, is been taken up. So this here you see the parastern long axis view. You see the anterior wall of RV, RV cavity, interventricular septum, LV cavity, mitral valve, aorta and the left atrium and this is the aortic valve. So it has to be in the center and should be perpendicular to the direction of the uh, ultrasonic waves. So here you can freeze the view and scroll to calculate the in uh, aortic diameter in the phase when the aortic valves are open. So that diameter can be used to uh, by uh, to calculate the LVO by putting into the formula that we have already discussed. Here you 